Hey everybody, Jake here. Got something a little different um, today. I'm going to be unboxing a knife. Um, in a recent channel update, I mentioned I was going to be doing less knife reviews. Um, I considered cutting them out completely, but I've run out of pins to review at the moment. Um, I will be getting some more in after Christmas, but for this month, I'm going to be kind of doing talk pieces on pens, um, containing ink reviews, and I'm thinking I'm going to try, don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try to throw out knife reviews as well for the four of you out there who like my knife reviews. Um, so real quick, I'm actually going to do an unboxing of uh, some new knives I just got in. Um, I have opened up the main box. I have not looked inside of the actual box for the, the main knife, which is a Spyderco Introvert. They are discontinued, so they're on sale at the moment for about 120 so, uh, I'm going to see what I think. Initial impressions kind of thing. I haven't done this before, so it's kind of exciting. Let's go and jump into it. And real quick, um, I picked this up from Blade HQ. If you ever buy anything from them in the comments, you can request a drawing, an illustration. So I asked them to illustrate why the introvert was discontinued, and um, it, it made me laugh pretty hard. I'll, I'll bring it over here real quick. So you can see it's a uh, Karabit asking the introvert, you know, what are you, and then which introvert isn't sure. Um, if you don't understand that joke, it's excusable. Um, it's pretty funny to me because the introvert is a very, it's a pocket knife for EDC, but it has a very karambitish blade shape with the rings up front, and it's it's a very unique knife. So uh, that made me laugh pretty hard. Um, and if you go check out Jake's take on Instagram, Jake's underscore take, I'll be um, put, putting pictures of this up, and I usually put up pictures of um, new things that I get in, so you can see them a little bit in advance before I do a video. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Like I said, I've already cut it open, um, so let's take a look at the actual knife. Now, I ordered two things. I ordered the Spyderco Introvert, and I also ordered a Grindworks Keychain Cleaver, which um, came in clear packaging, so I have already seen that one, and it is adorable. Um, so here is the Spyderco Introvert box. I have not opened it up yet, so we'll get to that. But I, And I can't take the cleaver out for Christmas, but I've, it's kind of clear package, so I, I will include, this, include it in the video anyway. So this is the cleaver. Look how little that is. Look how small. Um, let me see. Here, here's a, a Twisby 580 All, just to compare it to. Look how little that is. It's adorable. Um, but I, I, unfortunately, I can't open this one, really. Because it's for Christmas, so I'm going to set it aside. It doesn't come with a sheath, but we'll worry about that later. Main attraction right here. I'm also going to show you guys some new knives that I've picked up recently that um, I'm going to be reviewing. So, a little preview kind of thing. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up and see what we've got. Um, first Spyderco knife, actually. I'm really excited. Oh, that is actually a little bit larger than I thought it would be. A lot larger than I thought it would be. Let's see. And there it is, guys. There's the Spyderco Introvert. Um, as you can see, it is a very, very unique knife. And there are two ways of opening this, uh, with three. You can do the middle finger flick with spider or with Spyderco knives. You can push up with your thumb through the thumb hole, or you can flip it. Oh. So there that is. <laughs> that is that is certainly different. Oh, the ergonomics on this are fantastic. Um, fits right in my hand. Perfect. That's great. And this is a... Uh, if you if you don't know much about knives, I'm gonna go and create a knife 101 video while I'm doing all this because I'm, I'm worried some people didn't understand what I was talking about, but might have been interested. Um, so this steel on here is VG10, which is a Japanese steel, and it's generally very very good. Um, not crazy good like some of the super steels, but it holds an edge pretty well and is uh, fairly easy to sharpen. The grips here are G10, which is a sort of grippy plastic. I I'm gonna actually inquire about getting custom scales for this. I've had no success so far finding anyone to make them. But um, this is a backlock knife, so let's test out that backlock and see. That's not too bad, actually. Go ahead and open it up this way. Yeah, that's... So the backlock's a little lower than I would like for it to be, but that's not, that's not terrible. Oh, there's a tent on that. Let's try a middle finger flick. I haven't been able to do this because I've never owned a Spyderco. Oh, almost got it. A little short. So there it is, guys. Um, and this does come with a small lanyard hole, and it also comes with a Spyderco wire clip, which I've heard a lot of good things about. Holy lord, that is stiff. Oh, wow. 
Um, I actually recently sold my CRKT Fulcrum 2, which I have a video of, you can check that out, and my Keras Custom Fountain K in order to acquire money to get this. Um, add a little cash with it, but I'm pretty satisfied so far. One thing I will say, this clip reminds me a whole lot of the Keras Custom, because it is ridiculous to try to lift up. So, uh, we'll see about that, but I'm, I'm liking this so far, this is great. Um, I'm just going to leave this open and bring out some other knives that I've picked up recently. Um, this is the, I'll go from oldest to newest that I haven't reviewed yet. This is the SE Azula. Um, pardon the awful matching on the paracord. Um, I thought it was going to be brown and it was like orange. So, but this is a dark blue Azula. This is an exclusive to, um... Oh my goodness, uh, give me just one second, let me look that up. This video is a mess, I know. It's alright though. It's kind of fun, I'm not going to edit this one at all, I'm just going to leave it like it is. Let's see. The Knife Connection. So this is a Knife Connection exclusive. And it's this kind of dark blue um, color, and it's really nice. This is a skeletonized handle, you can see some of the blue there. So there's nothing in the center, nothing in the end. So I paracord wrapped it just to give it a little extra um, grip. And it does come with a sheath that you can carry in a multitude of positions. So um, I'll be taking a look at that. I have, I have carried this, and it's fairly small for a fixed blade. So um, we'll take a look at that. Next up, um, again, don't mind the paracord. I'll explain why I have it. It's awful looking. The Benchmade Proper. So this is actually a traditional knife so it doesn't lock it's just a slip joint like your you know your grandpa dad might have carried and i do have some of that ugly paracord color on here just to help pull it out of my pocket because this doesn't have a clip so um i'll be taking a look at that as well and this is a this is a great knife these are about the same price at the moment so if you like either one of those and you have around about 120 dollars it's a great idea and last but not least, I just got this one yesterday, and so far I'm in love with it. I picked it up used off of the Knife Swap Reddit. This is the Boker Quaken in Anodized Titanium. That is a beautiful, beautiful blue. Excellent flipper. It's it's gorgeous. The action's fantastic. Um, got a really, really good deal on this, I believe, because the anodization, some of the coloring's off. It looks kind of like an amateur job. And there are a few small scratches, and the blade has been... Um, sharpened to a mirror finish so that lowered the value a little bit but I still got a great great price on this and it's it's lovely so um, I'll have reviews of those coming up just to kind of hold you guys over um, until I get more pen reviews coming in um, like I said I do have a couple pens lined up and I'm still gonna be doing the talk piece kind of things discussions on the pens and still doing my ink reviews. These are just going to be strictly supplemental like this video is now. Um, this isn't going to stop the video coming out, you know, uh, hopefully tomorrow actually. Get back on schedule. Or um, the ink review that came out just before this. It's not going to stop any of that. That's going to continue completely like normal. I just wanted to uh, give you guys a few more videos. And they these won't, I don't know. I'm just going to try to have fun with it. And we'll, um, we'll see if you guys like it. If you don't, again, then we'll go from there. But um, let me know what you think. I, I really enjoy uh, carrying these knives, and I think they're very interesting. Same thing with pens. They're tools, but they can be pieces of art as well. Like, this is just very visually interesting to me um, and very unique. So uh, I, I like things like this quite a bit. So let me know um, what you guys think, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Real quick before I go... I didn't take out everything in the box. So in the box, you also get some foam, and you get a product and warranty information guide. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep an eye out for my next video. And uh, if you guys like this, I may do some more unboxings, uh, more than likely of pens. I'm done buying knives for now. But um, I might just see some unboxings of some new pens I've got coming up. All right, thanks, guys.